How you doing, everybody? Uh, my name is Motswana. Uh, and let's get started. So this question here comes from a uh, lot of students from Kuzul Natal. Merci, Motswana, help us with this question. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So the question here, they say, uh, look, they say here a car uh, move with a distance x meter. So this is a unit of distance in a t seconds. Means our time, but our time measured in seconds. Okay. According to the formula, so they give us formula, which is distance s represent distance equal to all of this. Okay. And then what happened? Now they say determine the velocity. So if they give you distance and then you have to determine the velocity, what you have to do, you have to differentiate the distance. But before we go further, if you're new to this program, make sure you please come right here and subscribe. So every time when I upload a new video, subscribe and then click the notification button. So every time you get the notification, automatically. Now let's get started. So they say here, find what they, the distance. So to get the distance is easy because for me, to, they say find, they give us distance. They say find the velocity is easy. So what I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say now velocity. How you get velocity? Velocity means differentiate the distance means derivate your distance. But with respect to to t means I have to derivate all of this means derivate with respect to t of all of this, which is what is three t cube minus two t square plus four t minus one. So now when you differentiate this, going to give us when you differentiate three t square, this three is going to come back is going to be nine. So this is going to be equal to equal to three times three equal to nine t just a t now say three minus one the three minus one equal to two now we go minus two times two means to differentiate multiply this two two times two equal to four now write your t now we say this two whichever number is there minus one two minus one equal to one so it's like t power one but a t power one is just a t so i can just simply say t you understand it's like say two power one two power one equal two so there's no need for me to write power one now we plus so we plus 40 let's differentiate 40 so 40 if you differentiate because the differential of them means this is power one so when you differentiate mean this is going to go to the back four times one equal to four and then we write t and then one minus one equal to zero so 40 power zero but any number power zero go to one meaning this all equal to one so it's like say four times t power zero go to one we go to four so this can be plus instead of three, this when you differentiate it's gonna be four. But when you differentiate constant number, it's gonna give us zero. Means this does not have any anything. So when you differentiate that one, it's gonna give us zero. So it's same as say four minus zero. Let me write clear here. Excuse me. This was four here for this one. And then here we minus zero because this is a constant number. When you differentiate, you get zero. So there's no way, there's no need for me to write anything. So now this is a dis uh, this is a velocity because when you differentiate distance, when you differentiate distance, we get what you get velocity. So our velocity we say. Our velocity equal to this see so i can simply say here velocity t we're looking for equal to 9 t square and then minus 40 and then plus 4. so they did not stop there they say then when you finish they find t power 0 means find the velocity when t equal to 0 I mean this gonna be velocity uh, bracket 0 because instead of t we put what we write what we write is 0 so t power 0 equal to 9. And this is going to be 0. 0 square equal to 0 times 9 equal to 0. Minus. This is going to be 0. So negative 4 times 0 equal to 0 plus 4. So this is going to be equal to 4. You see? So our velocity equal to 4 meter second. When t equal to 0. Now when t equal to uh, 1.5. So we're going to say velocity. Now t is 1.5. In the position of t here, we'll write 1.5. And then we say uh, now 9. See 9. It's a second and so we plug here 1.5 so plug 1.5 and then we say square square minus 4 1.5 and then you say plus 4 so then after they take a calculator so we come here and then we plug our calculator here very easy come see plug in the calculator here so we say okay so our number say uh 9 so we say 9 and then we bracket bracket then 1.5 so say 1 and then print, print 5 and then you come in, you bracket and then you go, you square and then you square, you minus, minus and then you say 4 and then after place 4 and then we come, you plug, plug 1.4 again. So 1.5 again, my apologies, 1.5 and then we go plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So this is going to give us uh, 73.4, 73.4, 18.25, okay. 73.4 or 18.25, okay. So 73.4, 18.25. Two, five. Okay, so 73 over 4. Okay, so we're going to say this. Let me say 73 over 4. 
o o 18.25 meter per second square for velocity 1.5 you see o 30 73 hold on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on did i apply correct why did i say minus here minus four minus four yeah okay cool so 18 point i just want to make sure 18.25 yeah 18.25 but the important thing is you to get to understand like okay this how this get it done okay so now uh this is going to be our our velocity so since this is our velocity now we see okay we're done with our velocity because they say when velocity equal t equal to zero and t equal to 1.5 now we want to get the acceleration acceleration is very easy so that's velocity so for acceleration what you do let me just show you quick here for acceleration So first and foremost, you want to get the acceleration. Sort of Amy. So get acceleration is easy. What you do, look, differentiate velocity. With respect to T means differentiate this velocity, which you have when you differ okay, when you differentiate velocity, you get acceleration. See? When you differentiate velocity, get your acceleration. Just like the first one. When you differentiate distance, you get what? Velocity. But when you differentiate this velocity, now you get what? Acceleration. See? So now we say, let's differentiate this velocity. It means when you differentiate this, it's going to be 2 times 9 equal to 18. And then t, 2 minus 1 equal to 1. So just say 18 t power 1. But t power 1 equal just simply equal to t. So I can just say 18 t minus. This is power 1. 1 times 4 equal to 4. And here's going to be t power 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Means you multiply to the back, you get the number, you drop your number, and then you minus 1, which is going to be 0. Plus. Now, when you differentiate number with no t, it's going to give you 0. So this is equal to 0. So equal to 18, t minus 4. t power 0 equal to 1. So this is like 4 times 1. Because this 4 times this 1. And number 0 equal to 1. So this is going to be 18, t minus 4. So this is going to be our acceleration now so acceleration equal to that but it's in terms of t that's what it's acceleration t it's acceleration what t so now we want to get acceleration t equal to zero means t equal to zero means this is going to be so we're going to say acceleration t equal to zero means in the position of t we're going to put zero so 18 times zero equal to eight zero minus four equal to negative four equal to negative four so what does that mean that mean means this guy is going to decelerate because it's not accelerating it's negative no problem. Sorry. So you can simply say acceleration equal to negative 4 meter per second square. Or if you don't want to write like that, you can say acceleration when time equal to 0 equal to, you can say 4 and then leave that negative. But when you leave, you're going to say equal to meter negative 1. And then now this is, is not acceleration anymore. No, no, let me write like this. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll say, I can just say decelerating instead of, okay, look. If you say this, which number is this? This is negative 4. But if you don't want to say like that, you can say this is negative 4. But if you say negative, and then you cannot write negative again. It means you can say what? 4. You understand what I'm saying? It means negative 4. Or you can write like that. So if, if I remove this negative, and then I can say negative. So same here with the acceleration. Since this is negative, I can simply say if I don't want to write like that, I can say decelerating decelerating photo four meter per negative one negative two my apology negative two negative two because it is acceleration but since i say decelerating means i don't have to write this negative again but if i don't want to write like this i can say a acceleration equal to negative four meter per second so you can write them both if you want but if you write decelerating don't write negative anymore okay now we go for the next one so when t this is when t equal to zero t equal to 0. Now we want to go t equal to 1.5. So we're going to say acceleration 1.5 equal 18 t. So we're going to say 18. What is the time? 1.5. And then we say what? Uh, there's no square here. It's 1.5 minus 4. So 18 times 1.5 minus, minus 4. 18 times 1.5 minus 4. So we're going to come here and say, okay, now let's come here. Clean. 18 times 1.5 times 4. So I can say 18, come, we say 18, bracket, 
1.5 bracket then minus minus 4 yeah minus 4 yeah okay this is going to give us 23 okay this is going to give us 23 so this is going to give us 23 so we come here we found lies 23 23 so we're going to say now our acceleration when at uh, time equal to 1.5 it's going to give us 23 but at this acceleration so it's meter per negative so if you don't want to write it there you say 23 meter over second square and that is for when t equal to 1.5 means it's for that one and this one here t equal to zero was for that one and the velocity we did already so that's how you do the first question like i said if you face time here uh, this question comes from a lot of students from Kuzul Natal. A lot of students from Kuzul Natal, they always send me question in that. I like it. Thobo, Nababa. I like that. You know, if you're from Kuzul Natal, man, just leave the comments below. Say, hey, Mutwana, I'm from Kuzul Natal. You see? Or if you're from Cape Town or you're from uh, Mississippi. Because a lot of students will send me question. Most of them that come from South Africa. And some of them that come from Mississippi, Alabama. They say, hey, Mutwana, listen. I've got some homework. Help me out. Thanks a lot for your time, man. So if you face time in this program, make sure you subscribe, share this video to a lot of people, and don't feel shy to leave a comment because when you leave a comment, means that means you give me feedback, and then I know how many students want my help for me. Okay? Thanks a lot of peace, and love, and I'm out. Peace, I'm out.